Hey everybody and welcome to another Top 10 Movie Mistakes. This time I will take a look at the blockbuster Titanic from 1997. Titanic was the most expensive movie ever made at the time, with a budget of $200 million. But luckily the movie was a huge success and won 11 Oscars. I'm not the only one to find mistakes in this movie. A lot of mistakes have been posted online over the years, but here's the mistakes I found myself. Some might already have been posted elsewhere, but some of them probably haven't. Number 10. Titanic Design Changes The ship that we see on screen was made using a big model of Titanic, and parts of the ship was built as sets for the actors. But unfortunately, the model and the sets don't match 100%. So if you look closely, the design of Titanic changes a bit throughout the movie. Here are some examples. This is the shot when Jack and Fabrizio look at the water at the bow of the ship. In this shot, the ship is a model, and Jack and Fabrizio were composited into the shot. Now take a look at this scene later in the movie, when Jack and Rose are in the same spot. It's not a model this time. This is a set. And the design of the ship has changed a bit. Now the floor looks completely different, and the railing looks different. Actually, almost everything looks a bit different. This is the back of the ship in the beginning of the movie, when the ship is about to sail. Now take a look at this shot six minutes later in the movie. The Titanic font looks completely different, the letters look stretched, and the red sign is on the right side of the pole now. Wait a minute. If you look closely, you can see the word notice is reversed. So, the image has been flopped, which explains why the red sign is on the right side. The Titanic letters would be reversed as well, so they obviously changed them digitally and didn't manage to match the original letters. Number 9. Visible Stunt Doubles For action scenes, a stunt double is often required, and the stunt doubles for Jack and Rose are quite visible a couple of times. This is the scene when Rose is about to jump off the ship and Jack talks her out of it. Rose slips, Jack catches her and pulls her over the railing. It's hard to see Rose's face, but that's definitely not Jack. Why did they even need stunt doubles for this scene? He's just pulling her over the railing onto the floor. At least Jack could have been the real actor. Later in the movie, when the Titanic is sinking, we see Jack and Rose in the corridors with water pouring in. And again, the stunt doubles are quite visible. I mean, really visible. You're not Jack. In the shot earlier, we see Jack and Rose running towards the camera in slow motion. This is also the stunt doubles, but their faces would be too visible in this shot, so their faces were digitally replaced with the real actors. Unfortunately, it looks horrible when you look closely. The faces are poorly locked onto the shot. Look at Jack's face. He looks like a demon. And for brief moments, you can see the stunt doubles' faces. Number 8. Visible set. In the scene when Jack is held as prisoner, there is a shot of him looking out the window. But in the beginning of the shot, you can clearly see the end of the set. You can tell that the ship is not supposed to look like that when you watch the white shots of the ship. Number 7. Visible wig. I know this is nitpicking, but when I watch Titanic in HD, I can't help noticing that Cal is wearing a wig. In his close-ups, you can always see a line of glue around his hair. His hair doesn't look natural. Whereas Jack's hair looks completely natural, he's obviously not wearing a wig. Number 6. Rose's beauty mark. The first time we see Rose, you may notice she has a beauty mark on the right side of the cheek. But next time we see her, the beauty mark is on the left side. So what happened here? There is actually a good explanation. A huge part of Titanic was built as a set for the movie. But they only built one side of the ship. So if they needed to show the other side, they just flopped the image. The entire sequence at Southampton, where we see Rose for the first time, was actually flopped. Which meant that all logos and text were backwards during filming. Number 5. Visual effects nitpicking. I work with visual effects for a living, so I can't help nitpicking the visual effects a bit, even though the movie is 20 years old. First of all, many of the white shots of Titanic were made using a big model of the ship, and the people in the shots were computer generated. The people look real for the most part but sometimes they are too close to the camera. Come on, here they just look like video game characters. You might as well put in Mario. Take a look at this shot. The people jumping off the ship are computer generated. But why don't they have any motion blur added to them when they jump? It makes them look fake. Oh, and check out this guy. He's not even on the ship when he jumps. He's floating in the air. That just looks stupid. Let's fix it real quick. First, let's attach him to the ship and then add some motion blur when he jumps. Let's check it out. Yeah, that's better. 
I also found a lot of examples of bad motion tracking. This is a real shot of the sea and Titanic was composited into the shot, but the shot isn't properly tracked. The ship wiggles around if you look closely. Then there's this scene in the lifeboat. Take a look at the sea level. That's a bad motion tracking. Number 4. Another visible set. When the Titanic is sinking, it was filmed outside in a big water set at night. And in one of the shots, you can actually see the end of the water set and the ground behind it. I wonder why this wasn't fixed with CGI. In the other shots, they fixed the background so it looks like open sea. Number 3. Weird sound design. This is not really a mistake, it's just something I found weird. When the Titanic splits, then listen to the sound design. Did you hear that? It's the sound of a gunshot. To be precise, it's the sound of a 357 Magnum. And it's there three times. The first time I saw Titanic, I remember thinking, did I just hear a gunshot? And yeah, I did. In fact, the same gunshot sound is also used when Murdoch is shooting two passengers. Number 2. Rubber Axe. In the scene when Jack is handcuffed to a pipe, Rose frees him by cutting the chain with an axe. But if you go frame by frame, you can see that the axe actually hits him directly in the hand. But luckily, it's just a rubber axe. You can see the blade bending when it hits the hand. If it was a real axe, the scene would look like this. Number 1. Visible crew members. My favorite kind of movie mistake is when they accidentally left a crew member or crew equipment in the final movie. And I've found two of these mistakes in Titanic. The first one is when Jack is going to draw Rose. They're supposed to be alone, but when Rose enters the room, you can see an arm behind the door. Rose is actually not opening the door at all if you look closely. The mysterious arm is opening it. The second and biggest mistake is when Jack enters the first class section. In the first shot of the sequence, which is supposed to look like Jack's point of view, you can see a reflection of the cameraman wearing a steadicam. I wonder why they left this mistake in the final movie. It's not very hard to spot this one. Before I end this video, I would like to mention some mistakes that used to be in the movie. This is an older version of Titanic on DVD. When Jack and Rose are looking for a lifeboat on the deck, you can see city lights in the background for a brief moment. But they fixed this mistake on the Blu-ray version. And I've found two other examples of mistakes that have been fixed. When Cal is chasing Jack and Rose with a gun, you can see a set light when Jack and Rose are running through the water. This mistake has been corrected on Blu-ray as well. The last example is when Rose punches the guy in the corridor. If you go frame by frame, you can see that he has blood on his hand that he puts on his nose. On the Blu-ray version, the blood on his hand is gone. Come on, that's just cheating when they correct mistakes like that. Besides correcting the movie mistakes, they also added stars to the sky. And the color grading is very different on Blu-ray. It really bothers me when movies get changed like this. A movie is a piece of art. When it's been released in theaters to the public, it should never get changed. Changing a movie is like making changes to the Mona Lisa. You just don't do it, no matter how minor the changes are. Don't be like George Lucas, please. Anyway, that was my top 10 movie mistakes in Titanic. If you have a suggestion to a movie I should take a look at next time, then write down in the comment section and I'll see you next time.